Welcome to Endurance Noise and Random Musings. I'm your host, Andy Noise. It is Thursday, 5.30 in the evening on April 22nd, 2021. And now for a Born to Run update. The race started at noon yesterday, the four-day race, that is. So this would be um, 29 and a half hour, uh, the 30-hour update. Uh, the Jester has finished his 100-mile race, and now he is probably resting, and then he's going to be driving here to Bakersfield, and then I will be taking him to Vegas or he's going to be starting a race at 8 a.m. So we've got a quick turnover, less than uh, 15 hours to go. So Ed's race started off. It's a 10-mile loop out there. There's two 10-mile loops. Did the first 10-mile loop at 13.40 pace, then 12.33 pace. So that second loop must be easier. Then 14.32, 12.52 pace. And then night fell hit, and he was on the harder loop 2016 from to mile 50. To mile 60, was 19-minute pace. To 70, it was 18-minute pace. Then he picked it up because daytime probably came, 14-minute pace to mile 80, 19-minute pace to mile 90, and then he finished up with a 17 pace. So his overall time was 27.05, and I'm sure right now he is probably resting there in Santa Barbara, or I hope he is because it sounds like he finished at 3.30. So he's been done for a couple hours, and hopefully he is resting, sleeping in his car for the trip over here. If you look on the four-day leader, the four-day leader is Stan Opetrebe, and he got to 100 miles in 27.40, and the rest of the field, William Sykes is at 90 miles, Jeff Collins is at 80, Hervé Leconte, who was at Beyond Limits with Ed doing the 72 just a few weeks ago, he's also at 80, Daniel Shubin's at 80, and then we have our first woman, uh, Nancy Ishizaga, who is at 70 miles, so they have quite a ways to go. I believe a lot of the other races are starting this evening, and I'll probably do some updates if I can from Vegas, but I've got to go out and pack for the trip, and I'm not sure what we're going to do this evening, but we're going to have to leave Bakersfield by 3 a.m. so we can get there at 7, so it can be a little bit before the start. And it's going to be doing the U.S. track and field race first, which is a mile loop, and that's going to be the fast one with Zach Bitter, Camille Heron, Jake Jackson, Marissa Lysik, and many others, so I'll definitely be reporting on that. And then once he's finished with that, there's a Saturday public race that starts at 8 a.m. on the two-and-a-half-mile loop. So once he's done, he'll have to jump in and start doing that race. So as always, stay healthy, be boring, and please subscribe.